So uh, Lele Dukumalo was um, in the Sarafina cast crew. She was one of the main characters, if you remember. If you haven't watched Sarafina to this day, I urge you to go watch it. It was the best movie ever. And also on theater, it was the best. And it was produced by uh, Mbongeningem. So what happened is... Bongeni Ngema was married to uh, Toliswa Nduneni Ngema. So, Toliswa Nduneni Ngema now, she writes a book explaining the abuse that was happening in her relationship. So, in the book, she also mentions the fact that uh, Lele Dikumalo was uh, one of um, uh, Bongeni Ngema's uh, side chick at the time and that happened in 1985 when uh um these things were uh, the the sarafina was uh done on uh Jobek theater back in 1985 so what happened is uh lele Dukumalo got sick with ulcers and then Tolile uh advised that they take lele to her mother's house so that she can she can get better and be prepared for the acting role that they were doing in theater so it turns out that back then lele D was an item with bongeni gema but Toliswa didn't know however her mother warned her about uh lele D kumalo she warned her and said be careful of that girl she sits on bongeni's gema when she was uh here to get better but uh Toliswa never uh, really paid attention to her mother because she believed that Lily Do was a child and her husband would not cheat with a child as he was already cheating with other women. And one of the women that she uh, Bongeni Ngema cheated on, according to this book that was written by uh, Tolila, is a woman by the name of Tu no way who is also a musician she's still a musician to this date so back to um Koliswa and the lady so Koliswa explains on uh, the book that she wrote that uh after she started like uh also noticing something that might be happening between her and her husband uh Lelete and her husband she quickly went to the hotel that they were staying in that is uh back there in when she explained this is there by uh, uh plaza so she went there and then she saw this group of girls there which they were part of the crew for the production of Sarafina. so she approached them to get out of the hotel so that she can speak with a lady in peace i during her speaking uh she did not even waste time she took a stick and beat the hell out of lily dukumalo when she explains it here she said she did not uh beat her on the face or on the legs because she uh, she understood the fact that she had to go act again on the stage and if she had marks and bruises on the face it will be too obvious that she beat her up so on her book she even says she beat her she beat her i beat her i beat her but i was careful not to hit her on the face i also did not want to beat her on the, her legs she had to go to the stage and perform the following day so with my stick i concentrated on her body she screamed crying for mercy crying for help there was no mercy from me after all i've done for you you kicked me in the face Mm. so she was just uh, beating her enjoying beating her because out of anger because of what her husband has done for uh, to her all the abuse that she has enjoyed she was taking it out on this child who i assume maybe also this child she was probably a jezebel because i mean a 17 year old already knows what's wrong and right but anyways let's not concentrate on that let's concentrate on the abuse that happened so when bongeni gemma realized that uh lele Dio has been beating uh, was beaten up by her his husband he his wife koliswa he quickly took the stick and beat koliswa 
with the same stick that Jolisa was beating Lele Dikuma. And then uh, uh, Jolisa explains here that there's the day when she filed for divorce because I guess she realized that uh, this man has made her lose her mind and he is nowhere going to protect her, but he's going to protect the side chick and this uh, mistress that Bongeni was sleeping with. Fast forward, um, Bongeni Ngema got married to Lele Dikumalo. They were married for a couple of years. And I believe that uh, Lele D was abused, was also abused by Mbongeni um, Ngema. What he was doing to his wife, Tolisa, he also did to her. Uh, when Tolisa explains uh, this, um, the way she she, she injured the, the, the abuse, it's very, it's, it's very, it's scary, you know, to read such things where a man even, uh, tells you to feed them to how to feed them they decided that day they don't want to eat they want to be fed she would feed him she explains and she would be shouted at for not giving him uh, pieces that were small enough for him to chew he would tell her to cut uh, my she explains here uh, cut my meat into small pieces so guys this this is really sad for me i think both women suffered but uh lele as well was at the wrong for dating a married man at 17 you already know that you're not supposed to date married men 17 you know right or wrong guys we cannot speak and and defend 17 year olds who sleep around also Bongeni Ngema's ex-wife told this I was very, very, very wrong for beating up uh, Lele Dikuman. But I guess back in the days, that's how they solved, resolved problems by fighting and beating each other. There was too much abuse back then. Very, There were a lot of abuse. There was no this thing of reporting your man or reporting someone who beat you up. No one would get arrested for beating you up. You were just murdered. And nobody cared. It's not the same as now. So Mongeni Gema is very abusive to the core. So here I see three, ad, three, two adults who were involved in the abuse of a child who was 17 and a minor who was also at the wrong for sleeping with a married man. So this situation is really, really sad. I can't imagine the pain and the trauma that Lele Dukumalo got through and the trauma that Joliswa as a wife went through. Please comment below what you think about this topic. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell as I sign out.